Hi, this is PD at Berserk Arcade at BerserkArcade.com and this is tutorial 145. Now where we left off in our last tutorial, we had the structure pretty much filled out and working, but next we want to go ahead and add some buttons that when they detect that the version is correct, or at least they have the version key and the version is correct, and they actually have a player already saved, we want to present them with the two buttons that says, you know, load your character or delete your character and create a new one. So we're going to do that next. So let's go ahead and open up Modern Develop. And I'm going to come up here and create a new Boolean value. And let me just put these together since they kind of match up. I'm just going to come down here. I'll make a private bool. And I'm going to call this one has character. And I'm going to start it off as equaling false. So I'm just going to cut this variable in down here uh, where we detect to see if they actually you know, have the key for the version. The version is right. Check to see if they have the player. Uh, the player tag is not empty, so they actually have a character already created. And instead of saying, hey, load level uh, equals first level, what we're going to say is has character now equals true. And I'm just going to comment this line out for now. We'll probably be moving it. And I'm going to come down and create my on GUI. So I'm actually going to get rid of this empty line here. So void on GUI. So in here, I'm just going to check to see if we have a character. And if so, here's where I'm going to present them with the buttons. So the first button, uh, we're just going to use GUI buttons. And we've styled enough buttons now that you should be able to style them on your own. And for me, I'm just going to set a default rec. Uh, I'm going to make mine, oh, I don't know, 110 wide by 25 high. And this one's just going to say load character. That actually might not be wide enough, but if not, I can always change it. And I'm just going to cut and paste this button. And I'll move it down 25 spots. I'm actually going to move it down 30 spots. So we'll just go down to 40. And instead of saying load character, I'll say delete character. So let's start off with the load character button. Let's roll down a bit. Uh, so if we're going to load character, uh, if they click the load character button, this is where we're going to want to set the, the level for it to load. So we commented that up here. And I'm just actually going to cut and paste it in. Since we know it works, save on the typos. Uh, we'll have to move it in a bit. And I'm actually going to cut and paste the other one to load up the character generator as well. There we go. Uh, we probably should delete what's already in the character as well. So I'm actually going to grab the delete all as well. Uh, you don't really, you probably don't have to. Uh, I'm probably just being a little anal about it, but. Uh, I just like to start off with a clean sheet. If I'm going to create a new character, let's delete everything there. Uh, but if we do delete everything there, we're going to want to set the version again. So if you're not going to delete all in here, you don't have to reset the version, but I am, so I have to put the version. So let's just actually go try out that functionality. So I'm going to come back into Unity. I'm going to wait for it to import. Everything imported. I don't see any errors, so I'll just clear. And we left off. We actually had a character created, so I should be presented with my two buttons. And here they are. So I'm going to do the load character first. So we'll start it up. We'll hit load character. And here we go. It loads up my scene. And I'll close that. And now let's check out uh, the create the, the delete character button. As you see, it is a little narrow, uh, but I'll just leave it like that because I am going to be styling it. So we went in, we hit 
the uh, delete key. And I'm just going to... Actually, let's not create anything because we did delete everything except for the version. So let's start it back up and see what it said. So as we see, it brings us back here and it says that there is a version key. Uh, the same version key is the current version. Uh, there is no player name key. So everything does seem to be working. So I'm just going to quickly make this guy. And I really should, I guess, do those repeat buttons. It would make this a lot quicker. But we'll just click, 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 click. It's a good workout for your finger, I guess. And we'll hit create. And I'll load up our main scene. Okay, we got our character. We'll stop it. We'll start it again. And it did not save again. It says there is no key. So I'm going to stop. Uh, there should be a key. I'll try it one more time. I'm just going to clear. And we'll just keep adding. And this is the part I usually edit out, but I'm hoping you enjoy watching all the errors. <laughs> and my time machine did not work. And because I clicked outside of my Unity editor, it had to re-import everything. So we'll just stop it. I am actually going to clear. Let's take the camera, make sure it's not clicked to clear the preferences. I'll start it. And it still keeps bringing me here. There is no version key. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to load up mod develop again. I'm going to take a look to make sure that I still have, uh, what was it, game settings. Have it commented out to delete my player press. That is correct. Uh, so let's stay here. Uh, we'll close that down. We'll look at my main menu again. So let's look at the, well, let's see how it's going through it again. So it says there is no key, and it automatically loads us up into our level. So if we scroll up, there is no key, delete, set the version, load the level. Um, Now, I'm not sure why the version key is not being saved. Okay, it got saved that time. Uh, saved version is the same as the current version. There is no player name. Okay, we'll clear it. And then it comes in that says there is no version key again. Clear it. And this time it says there is a version key. So I'm actually going to open this up again in my uh, the plist. So we go to uh, library preferences, scroll to the bottom. It's right here. So we have the uh, the graphics quality settings and the version number. I'll close that down. We'll stop this. Uh, I'm going to clear the log, start it up again, and it's going to say we don't have a key. There is no version key. So we'll look at it again. And there is none. And if we stop it, I'm going to go load it up again because it seems to be adding after. And it should not be adding there. I think what might be happening happening is that in the time it takes it to delete all the keys uh, and then add that new one, it's already moved on. Uh, that doesn't seem like it should be able to do that. Get back into mono develop. I'm just going to throw a quick debug in here and in here. And I'm just going to say deleting keys. And in here I'm going to say saving var or ver. Now usually I put them above the line. I guess I should do it like I usually do. I usually put them right above the lines 
So we'll head back into Unity. We'll clear it. We'll start it up. And we'll just go up to the top here. Uh, there is a version key. The saved version key is the same as the current version key. Uh, there is no player name key. So I'm going to go look at that part where it says there is no player name key. There is a player tag. Uh, the player tag name key does not contain. Okay, what was the argument or the message? Saved version is the same as the current version. There is no player name key. Uh, there is a player name key. Uh, there is no player name key. Ah. I'm deleting all and not adding the version back in. So remember that after you delete all, you do have to add that version back in. Now it might actually be simpler later on just to actually move uh, this line into the actual save player. Uh, we could probably look at that a little later on. Right now, I like to keep everything just in the one script. Just to, uh, I just find it a little bit easier to debug since it's not that big of a script and there's not really a whole lot going on. But let's stop this now. I'm going to clear my log and actually it's late so I'm just going to make sure I did save it. And we'll start it up. So it says there is no version key, uh, deleting keys, saving var, and now usually if you restart it, it would say that there is a key but no player name. Uh, there is a version key, uh, saved a version, okay, yeah, this is right, this is what we used to have, and then when we restarted it back up again, it would go back to the original message, which said that there is none. But now it's no noticing that there is one all the time. So, that does seem to be fixed. I'm going to go ahead and increase, uh, we'll do some nimbleness too. Let's get some concentration, some speed, oh willpower and charisma because I want to be liked and we'll just hit create and it'll go in there's my character I'm going to stop it I'm going to open up my finder I want to take a look to see what's here as you can see all the different values uh, player name I guess I should start using a different player name but we have our version so everything looks like it's saved I really didn't study my values that much but Let's see when I start it back up again. And I'm getting the message. So let's hit delete character. And we're going to call this one Bob. And Bob really wants to be liked. So we're just going to keep cranking it up to 120 charisma. And I probably will want to eventually put a cap in there because I don't want them to start with more than a hundred in any one attribute. And we'll hit create. Uh, I'm just going to come up here. There is a version key uh, level ready. So yeah, all my messages look OK. And I'll clear again. Let's start it up. And it should bring me back to my two buttons. There we go. That appears to be working. And we're already over the 10 minute mark. So I'm going to call this video done. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh, if you could, leave a comment down below on um, whether or not you actually like the idea of me leaving all my bug tracking in. I think it is beneficial for you to see um, how I'm tracking down when things go wrong. I, I think you could actually learn something from it. I I'd hope so. Uh, but if people don't like it, at least the majority of the people, I can go back to editing it out. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.